Hello and welcome back to Hyperplay RPG. We've got our hands on the PowerKid X55 and it's a great little emulation console. But sometimes there are some tricky things that arise, like this orange screen. Or orange and a bit purple on this video, but mostly it'll look orange and flashing. That can happen uh, when you're trying to access the menus in your games. Now this is a problem with RetroArch, which is often the default emulator for when you want to load up your games as you'll see here. So you go into uh, whichever folder you want of games, PlayStation, here we choose Breath of Fire 3, and you fire it up and things might start to get a bit funky if you have a problem uh, with your RetroArch. So it seems that you can load up the game normally, but then you get this bar going along the bottom and alarm bells are ringing and then you go into the menus and uh oh can't see anything and it's flashing now actually the menu's still there you just can't see it properly you can actually cycle down through the options and select things blind if you know uh, your way around retroarch well enough to know it without being able to see it as it were uh, but for most people that is untenable so what on earth is going on here well what has happened is most likely um, you have or something has changed the driver options in RetroArch from the standard, uh, the default uh, GL into something else and we had indeed done that, we'd done some tinkering to try and get um, a game running it was actually Grandia English fan translation on the Saturn we were trying to get that running up at full speed um, because it was a bit sluggish in the Yabasan Shiro emulator so we wanted to mess around with the drivers uh, inside um, RetroArch um, and we did, we changed the driver to <coughs> one which is not supported, so that is a big problem. It's a big problem because it messes up your RetroArch settings uh, completely, your menus rather, it messes up the RetroArch menus. So how to solve this? Well, we tried going into the uh, RetroArch uh, menu <coughs> in the tools function. Uh, and that unfortunately didn't help at all because even then when we tried to get into the uh, the base RetroArch settings it just would show this uh, orange flashing screen of doom. The only way to fix it, or well, actually there are two, one is if you can go uh, take the SD card out and then you can look through the SD card and find the uh, configuration file for RetroArch, RetroArch.cfg and delete that then you should be golden. However, this is a Linux-based operating system and won't show up on most laptops. So when we chucked the SD card into our laptop, it didn't even see the SD card. Um, and then when we tried to use another application to access the SD card and delete the CFG file, it actually deleted an entire partition. So we thought, blow this. We're just going to do, you know, the uh, the complete fix, which is to reflash the SD card. So we formatted it again. For, for, formatted our SD card with SD card formatter and then using Rufus we reflashed the Jelos uh, image that we downloaded and we suggest that is what you do to fix this very annoying uh, flashing orange screen of doom that you will find because of the RetroArch menus being messed up mostly due to a different driver that isn't supported being selected previously so you get this orange screen I'm afraid what you've got to do is reflash your SD card with uh, the operating system again <clears throat> and start again from scratch like that. I hope that's helpful. If it is, we've got lots more troubleshooting videos on the X55 and various other reviews on these handheld emulation consoles uh, coming up. So please stay tuned. Take care. Bye.